here we go. How we're gonna make a wrench. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. First, you'll need to learn the wrench, which you're gonna need a schematic for, which you can find at like, yeah, the trader. Or if you look at mailboxes and different things, you might get lucky and find one of these. Or if you're doing missions from the trader, well, you got a pretty high chance of getting the schematics. Um, if you don't wanna go that route, um, you could also learn it from doing the salvage operations. Do the very first one here, the junk collector. That'll also give you access to the wrench. And then you can actually just craft the wrench on yourself after you have the schematics or you learn that salvage operation. So after you have that, what you're gonna need is some duct tape, which I have a video on how to make duct tape if you don't know how. Forged iron, which I just did in the last video, the how to make the forge, melt that stuff down. And you'll need uh, mechanical parts. You get mechanical parts by mostly having this wrench or you'll get lucky and find it from just looting. But check it out. So we'll go ahead and craft this guy. So we got it crafted up now. We'll go ahead and grab this, put it down here in our hot bar. And there's a couple things the wrench is great for. Getting you some gas, getting those mechanical parts. So my inventory was empty, but check it out. This is what I got from breaking down that car. We got some polymer, oil, mechanical parts, a nice chunk of fuel. Iron, some short bars, which is a great way to get the short parts. Other than looting, got some headlights and some springs, which is pretty cool. So very useful items there from using the wrench. The other thing the wrench is good for, which is actually what I'm trying to get up to. Uh, whoops, I typed the wrench. Is for the workbench. This is one of the materials you will need in order to craft this thing. So we are trying to get to that point, but for right now. Looting cars is great for fuel. 